everybody welcome back to my channel this is the second video in my so far three-part series today we're going to be talking about my eating disorder food recovering from that exercise and it's just going to be a very real and open conversation again with my husband and i hope you guys enjoy this one give this video a like if you liked it and let me know down below if there's anything more you want me to talk or touch on about in the next video so let's just get on to the video part two yeah. hi hey so welcome back to our, uh, our second part two part two of this uh, video series <coughs> and uh, we're talking about food. How would you say your relationship with food was growing up? So I'd say my relationship with food growing up was really weird. I never liked food. <laughs> I feel nervous to do it this time around. I never liked food. My mom always used to tell me that it was so difficult feeding me. I would literally sit at the table for like three, four hours um, just not wanting to eat my food at all mm -hmm. and then she would say that I would throw tantrums all the time when it came to meal times. Asian households, they don't let you leave the table until you finish your food so I would just sit there for ages because I didn't want to eat. I don't know what it was about food, I just didn't like the smell or taste, just anything that was put in front of me and I was super super picky so um, socially when my parents brought me out places it was like hard to feed me and then that's how it kind of was just growing up even into my teenage years and it was a bit more different though when I was a teenager when you're a kid everyone's just like oh she's a picky eater she'll grow out of it but when I was like 16 and 17 and I hadn't grown out of it it became a bit worrying to me maybe I should try to do something about this and so slowly I tried to introduce different foods that I never used to eat before into like my diet or into myself and then I just started to realize that like food isn't so bad I guess. It was kind of like a thing that I always dreaded. I remember saying a lot of the time I was like you know if I could get my nutrition from one big pill and just take it once a day I wish I could do that. Like I hated the thought of like sitting for meal times and socializing through meal times. The act of eating, or is it more just uh, having the whole dinner with everyone and talking to everyone at the same time? Or you don't like the taste? I think it's all of it. All of it just made me anxious. Just the thought of food in general, like, made me anxious. So everything that came with it, like socializing, the taste, the smell, I don't like it. Going off that, like, mm -hmm. do you ever think that you had like an eating disorder? Um, not growing up. I didn't have an eating disorder growing up. I just thought I was super duper picky. But I eventually did develop an eating disorder. It wasn't like your usual one where girls like they, they I guess look at themselves, they're unhappy with themselves and then they try to lose weight because of like body dysmorphia. It was never because of my image is why I went to lose, well it was like why I lost weight. It was mainly because of stress like I was just at a period of my life in like my third year of uni where I was super stressed in life um, and I just I just couldn't eat like I just felt really sick all the time and I just kept skipping meals constantly and I would classify it as an eating disorder because I would say like during that time I picked up a lot of really weird eating habits I didn't want to eat socially or in public, I ate with really certain foods, it was like I just had a lot of weird stuff that around food and different mindsets around food that were really unhealthy. Uh, what kind of an effect did the eating sort of have on you? It affected me in so many ways negatively. Um, one thing that's pretty obvious for a lot of people is uh, what it does to you physically, like because I was very, very thin. Um, a lot of my clothes like didn't fit me anymore. I was also like 
incredibly just tired and like fatigued all the time like the smallest amount of effort or energy would make me so so tired and so I remember I was like napping all the time or I would constantly say no to everything that like would make me expend energy socially it had a huge effect on like my social life I cut out friends from my life because I just, I couldn't deal with all the anxiety and stress that like eating and food brought and for a long time, like I, especially like in the first year of me going through all this, I actually didn't have um, any friends at all, like I had friends that were kind of there from a distance that I was close to but all my close friends, I like literally pushed them all away. So I didn't, I didn't like go out and see people, I didn't want to talk to people and I was literally like isolated and I feel like a big thing with these eating disorders is that it brings out a lot of isolation and you tend to push people away. It's not necessarily something that you you want to do I think it's just because you, you're so unhealthy like even your mindset is a little bit unhealthy. It limited a lot for me I think it really limited my studies a lot of the time because I wasn't feeling myself with good food and my brain just didn't work as well as it would when I was eating a lot. Um, not that my grades dropped, but I found it very difficult to concentrate and it required a lot more energy for me to do that. Especially at work, it affected my work life like so, so much. I worked at um, this retail store and in retail you're obviously really busy and you're doing a lot and we used to work like really really long shifts like sometimes we get rusted on to work 10 hours a day um, and those were really hectic and for me like whenever I I was like like in that time I kept on saying no to shifts or like even just no to working in general which obviously did make me look good in front of my manager um, when I was there. I was physically there but my mind just mentally wasn't because I was just so drained and tired and so exhausted from talking to people all day or just even like taking the energy to get to work just really like exhausted me and um, it took a toll on like literally every aspect of my life and it's, it's been very, it was a very very difficult period. Through all of this, all of these things that, you know, the eating sort of affected you in your life, mm -hmm. how did you view yourself at the time? I just remember feeling so insecure all the time, like I just didn't like myself and the fact that I got in myself to that point. I was so mad at myself, I remember, like feeling just so angry that I let it get to this point because I was just so thin and just so afraid and I honestly felt like just really really insecure about my body all the time and it just translated in all these areas as well like even socially I felt like I couldn't um, I couldn't like just be myself and I couldn't just like talk to people or even meet new people because I felt so and so low in my self-esteem and I really just didn't view myself very good at all. How do you believe you've overcome this thing? So do you have any tips for anyone out there that's going through this right now? I was thinking about this and I don't know if I've like ever overcome it. It's been almost three years since my like initial recovery where I went and gained weight. But I realized that it's actually like a life journey. It's not something that you can just recover from and then that's it, it like goes away. I didn't realize that stressful thoughts or like even very incredibly stressful periods in my life could again re-trigger this kind of mindset into like not eating again and losing weight all over again. Mm -hmm. um, I never realized that that could actually happen and come back to me because I thought once I overcame it, that would be it. Um, but in saying that though, I've gone through different times of like going through a really hard time and then recovering from that and then going again through a really hard time and then recovering from that. Um, the times that have really helped me in my like 
recovery period, drawing closer to God and working my relationship with God every day. It's um, not isolating myself from people, like going out and hanging out with people and seeing my friends and my family and making sure that I'm not here by myself and actually sharing the things that like make me feel anxious or the things that make me feel depressed. It's helped me so much and um, when I say like going to God daily, it does include prayer but it also includes journaling and um, really speaking like these anxious and like depressive thoughts out that so that I can you know, read through it, figure out why I feel that way, but then um, pray over it in the end, and that's what I feel like has helped me so much in my like recovery period. Yeah, like I mentioned previously, because this is like a lifelong thing that I've gone through, like my struggle with food and chronic stress and stuff like that, I realize that this is also going to be a lifelong thing that I'm going to have to keep working on every day just to recover and actually like get on track to having a healthy relationship with food all the time. How does exercise play into you know, your life as a whole? I think it's a kind of like a difficult question to answer because every eating disorder is very, very different. For somebody that's very image driven and they're like trying to lose weight in that area, I feel like I don't have advice for that or I, I don't have like recovery tips for that because someone may be over exercising to lose weight and that's what could be unhealthy for them like that is the triggering point and that's what is um, not a healthy mindset for them like if they feel like they ate a donut that day they have to run an extra kilometer or something just to burn off that donut I do not have that kind of mindset so the advice that I had or like the the process of incorporating exercise into my recovery was um, I try to exercise to keep like just overall the healthiest version of myself like physically and mindset wise I haven't exercised consistently like I used to um, in my videos for a while like the past three four months because I had been going through something really difficult again but I think incorporating exercise into my routine helps me so much like mentally it helps my body at the same time continue to keep like the gains in a way like or like the the, the weight ish on rather than weight it's like muscle but um it helps me a lot in that way in that like it helps my body maintain the weight that I had put on but also helps me propel me into a more healthier mindset um, when I do exercise. Those are the questions that we prepared for today and just talked about. I hope this helps you guys in any way. Comment below if you have any similar like stories or feel any similar way to anything that we discussed here in relation to food, um, eating disorder, recovery, all of that. And See you all next week. Bye.